Okay, now we moved on to exercise five, which is using the print designer. And to do that, we're going to go to our home screen. We're going to go to file. We're going to go to tools. We're going to click on print designer. <clears throat> the form document type we're going to select is receiving voucher. And then we're going to select letter. Come down here to options. And we're going to copy selected. And what we're going to do is just change the look and feel and try and customize this form just to be our own. So real quick, I'm just going to demonstrate us changing the alignment. And we're going to take the receiving voucher number and we're going to change that. We're going to take our align button here and we're going to horizontally align this. And all we did is we moved it from being right justified to the center of the document. We're going to click on save. We're going to rename this template new receiving voucher. We're going to click OK. We're going to close it. Now we get a pop up saying make new receiving voucher the default print template for receiving vouchers. We're going to click on yes. Now we'll click on close to close out the print designer. Okay, so now we're going to confirm that the new receiving voucher we just modified and created is our default template. And to do that, we're going to go back to our preferences. We're going to go to file. We're going to go to preferences. And now we're going to go to workstation. And now we're going to come down to documents and printers. We haven't set up a printer yet. So now we're going to come down to receiving vouchers and we're going to make sure our new receiving voucher is the template that is there and that our printer is selected. So let's go ahead and select. Let me get a local printer here. We'll get one that's going to print on my screen. I'm going to select cute PDF printer. And we'll click on save. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our receiving voucher that we did earlier. Receive items. We're going to go to our receiving history. Let's see if we can't find one here. Okay, we're back at our purchase order history. I'm going to open this up. Sorry, we're going to go back to our home screen. I'm going to click on receiving history. We'll open up our receiving voucher here. Click on reprint. Click on print. Let's see how this came out. And so now we can see that instead of our receiving voucher number being right justified is now centered. And we can go ahead in the print designer and move these fields all around. Of course we can change our font, we can add our logo, we can add different columns just to get all the different fields that we would need. As you can see here, let me zoom in a little bit. You can see how the numbers, the font one is not good and that the numbers kind of cut off here. And so, quick wrap up is what we were able to do is go in, set one, the type of form it's going to print on, 
uh, we went to a letter form, we selected the default printer. If we had preferred, we could have chose to use the star printer that comes with the QuickBooks point of sale and use the 13 column tab report. Um, but the preference is yours.